Living near the Thai-Cambodia border can come at a cost. In recent days, an ongoing land dispute has shattered the peace in this otherwise sleepy Thai settlement. The owner of this house told us she managed to evacuate before a Cambodian artillery shell landed at her back door. This was the scene the night before, dozens of Thai shells streaking across the sky towards Cambodia. Despite the aggression from both sides, the Thai Prime Minister called for a peaceful solution, but said his country will continue to defend itself. When there is firing into Thai territory, it's necessary for Thailand to protect its sovereignty. We counter the attack and we return fire only at military targets. However, Cambodian television showed footage of the ancient Priya Vahir temple in the middle of the disputed area, which they allege was damaged by shelling. In Thai territory, the soldiers remain on edge. At checkpoints, supplies are being rushed to the front line. The border villages are now largely deserted. People who have stayed behind say they're ready for more fighting. They've armed themselves and are preparing new bunkers to shelter in. Those who aren't digging in are being catered for in the relative safety of a nearby town. The residents who have fled the fighting have come here to evacuation centres. In this one alone there are around 9,000 people. Most of them say they're in no mood to go home anytime soon. I will continue to stay here until the fighting stops. Given the tension on the border, these people may be here for some time yet. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Kantaralak, Thailand.